figured it out. <laughs> That's good. We can see you, beautiful face. Thank you. You guys are awesome. <laughs> I'm beautiful. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Isabel. How's everybody doing? Good. 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 Well, it's so nice well. to see everybody. I'm sure people are going to join in, uh, but you know, in this for the sake of time, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, so again, bienvenidos a todos uh, al cafecito, uh, and thank you for joining us and taking time out of your busy days. Uh, we're gonna we're excited to have a special guest uh, who's going to share some information with us at the end. Uh, but I'm going to turn it over to Paul, who's going to lead us through the rest of today's session. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Are you leaving? Isabel? No, nope, I'll be here. Oh, okay. Thank you guys again. So uh, thank you for being here today. Uh, excited to start the weekend with you. Uh, seeing all familiar faces and new faces today here. So I think that's that's the awesome thing about uh, the cafecito that we see familiar faces all the time, but at the same time, we always see somebody new, somebody sharing information, especially on this time where we need to get informed and see what's happening out there. Um, I know we're all secluded in our homes or in our jobs, but uh, it's really nice to be able to uh, collaborate with you guys and see you all here. So just a couple of announcements. Still, we're still doing our series of workshops uh, throughout the week. Uh, today, every Monday, we still have the cafecito uh, happening. Then we have on Tuesdays, we have art with uh, Ms. Manos Montessori with Mara Castro. That she helps us and gives us tools on how to be able to be creative with our kids uh, at home uh, and, and at the same time teaching them good habits. Uh, then we have on Wednesday, we have a uh, workshop with Planet Fitness. So uh, definitely those are being giving you a sweat and that's what I need to do more actually instead of doing it once, I need to do it like every single day. <laughs> uh, then we have on Thursday, we have uh, yoga and meditation. Uh, we're still working a little kings there, but we are actually gonna uh, start uploading the videos that are coming in and then of course on uh, Friday we have nutrition with Christy Wilson uh, She continues to share recipes with everybody uh, with especially especially with stuff that we actually have at home uh, we can actually uh, use from our pantry to be able to have like healthy snacks and uh, the other thing uh, things that are happening here at the, at the chamber we still want to continue and helping and providing value to every single one of you so if you have anything you'd like to share and for us to be able to promote it please send it to admin at tucson hispanic chamber and we'll be able to put it out there uh in the community to be able to people to see it's open to everybody right now so please share this with everybody anybody that would like to participate and share some of some important news about their business please tell them to email that to us and we'll get it out there right now it's a point that we want to be able to help and provide a platform for everybody to to um, to see what you're doing what your business does uh and it can be anything and anything you would like to see besides those activities that we have uh please send ideas as well we can definitely incorporate uh different things something that will help and benefit our community so um again really grateful to be here uh, anybody that has any questions around business development or any help, please uh, tell them that they can send me an email, uh, paul at tucsonhispanicchamber.org, um, and I can assist them in any way possible. If I don't have the answer, I will direct them with somebody that actually can help them out as well. So thank you guys so much for, for uh, being here today. And then uh, back, so back to you, Leti. Oh, right. you're, muted. you're muted, Leti. You're muted. Oh, sorry. There you go. <laughs> Isabel, do you want me to uh, start with uh, with uh, everybody here? Oh, okay. Yeah, let's get started. Okay, so let's start. Um, the first person it was uh, Samantha. Samantha. Talk about your business and what are you looking for? And welcome to another cafe with the Camara de Comercio Hispana. Thank you, thank you. I, I already finished way too many cups of cafe this morning. So if I'm talking a little fast, that is why I'm a little over caffeinated at the moment. <laughs> um, it's great to see everybody's beautiful faces. My name is Samantha from Nesco Resource. I almost forgot where I was from for a second. I was gonna say Tucson, but that's a different one, right? <laughs> Today I am looking for 
people who are planning on bringing on some temporary employees or thinking about bringing on some temporary employees to kind of combat the time that their businesses had to be closed. So for some of our clients, we're working on bringing um, work at home receptionists or administrative assistants so that we have somebody doing customer service and fielding calls while they're getting ramped back up. We are also still hiring for the Tucson area to support our 50 clients that are still in business, still hiring. So if you know anyone who is looking for a job, send them my way. I'm happy to get them in touch with one of my recruiters. Um, yeah, Samantha Alvarez, Mesco Resources. Thank you, Samantha. And I see you have all the information in that chat, so thank you. Uh, let's go with Tanya. Tanya, um, you can go and talk to you about uh, all, all you want to uh, talk about it today. Okay, hi friends. Thank you so much for uh, having me on and praying that everybody's doing well and staying safe and healthy. I have to keep telling myself and my kids that we're not stuck at home or safe at home, right? <laughs> um, so a little bit about me. I'm actually a, a friend of uh, Isabel and um, she's actually one of my um, Mary Kay customers. I've been building my business for about 10 years here in Tucson, Arizona, and I'm a mom of um, three kids, six and under. As you can see, I'm here. We're in the process of uh, distance learning and just trying to figure this whole virtual thing out. Um, you know, super blessed that I can still work my business virtually. We've been able to pivot in, in, that, in that area. Um, and right now, I'm, I just have been able to to fill a need. I know I don't know about many of you guys, but I feel when I can give back and do more to help others, I know that I feel a lot better. And I was I'm able to work on a project right now with my Mary Kay business, where we're actually uh, gathering. There, it's called a Mary Kay set and hand set in a shea cream hand lotion. And I'm right now collecting donations from all of my awesome customers and just people out in the community that that are able to donate these hand creams and these hand lotions to our uh, frontline workers um you know the the doctors and the nurses that work in the hospitals you know in the clinics offices you know the the postal workers or people at the grocery store and a lot of um my clients who are working in the hospitals i've been able to get these to them for example i have some nurse friends that work over at tmc they're the night shift at the COVID department and some of their responses um have been for example just to kind of read some read some of their their messages you know this is the best stuff ever we've been washing our hands so frequently that they become chapped and dry and i one of my nurse uh clients that works at tmc she works the night shift the night shift and she said that she was going to go ahead and have the, the people on the day shift use these They're, we're back for another night and i'm going to get these to the people on the, on the day shift everyone keeps telling me this is the best stuff so it's good to know that we are making a difference in our community right now, just being able to help out um, our frontline workers. And if you guys are interested in, in wanting more information on how to donate these, what I'm doing is I'm taking my profit from these hand, hand products and just donating my profit as well too. So I'm not taking any profit on these, the sale of these. So for example, when I have clients that, that purchase or donate one, I'm matching that donation. So that's what I'm doing. Right now we have about 50 of these out and our goal is to be able to get 100. So right now I think we need like about 40 more to go. Um, and of course I wanna keep continuing to do that. So that's what I'm working on. And I just wanna thank Isabel for allowing me to be on here. And of course, if you guys need any, you know, self-care, skincare, at-home spa products, um, I can be your girl for that as well. So thank you so much again for having me on today. I appreciate you all. Thank you, Tanya and uh, welcome. Welcome, and uh, it's a great information, and uh, yeah. Uh, let's go over with Debbie Hayes, and that way she can talk about a little bit more about Malaluca too, and and they have a lot of good um, products too. So let's. Yeah. Thank you, Letty. Uh -huh. uh, Malaluca is an essential business. They actually have been hiring at the corporate level in order to keep up with all the, um, the orders that have been coming in because of course we do have hand sanitizer. Um, back to that in a minute. But last month we had 150,000 new customers as opposed to the months before, which were 100,000. So a huge jump, probably the biggest month for the company and it's going to be bigger this month because people are seeing the value of ordering from home. Um, 
back to the hand sanitizer, I love the fact that Melaleuca is a US manufacturer and a forward thinking business. In January, they realized there was gonna be a problem and they actually procured ingredients for the hand sanitizer for 12 to 18 months so that we would have san hand sanitizer available um, for our customers. Then on Friday, they announced the new probiotic. I don't know if you've been reading on, the, on Facebook primarily um, what medical people have been saying about COVID-19 and using vitamin D, C, and zinc so they, to um, combat it or prevent it. So they came out with a new probiotic for the immune system, which actually has those ingredients so that we can better be prepared against the, um, against the COVID-19. So as I said, I just, as Letty said, there are, there are 400 products, mm -hmm. but those are some of the ones that are essential for right now. So my information is up there. I'd be more than happy to talk to people um, about the products. Thank then, you, Debbie. Thank can you. I go ahead and talk about Seroptimus real quick? Yes. Okay, so Optimist is a philanthropic organization that I belong to. Um, the representative wasn't able to make it this morning. So what we're talking about, obviously we're doing all of our meetings virtually at this time. Uh, there was a dinner planned in March for the Live Your Dream Award. Um, we actually gave $20,000 to four um, mothers who are head of household. And the criteria for that is that they have to be furthering their education. As I said, they have to be head of household, furthering their education at either the associates or bachelor's level. So four women were awarded at the $20,000 this year. And even though the dinner was canceled, they did already get their money, but we will be rescheduling the dinner so that we can honor them. So anyone is welcome to come and check out the organization. Um, you can take my number down and I can give you the information of when we're doing our virtual meetings or when we start again doing the regular meetings and coming to the special things like the, um, the Lida Banquet. Oh, thank, thank you. you. So, thank you. Thank you so much. Let's go with Maria. Maria, um, and uh, also don't forget, uh, Tanya, can you um, go to chat and get all your information there? Because I see Samantha, Paul, Debbie, is, oh yeah. So do you see the chat there? Do I see what, Leticia? The chat uh, that you can go there and for everyone and write your information, your, your, the name of the business, your name, your name, phone number and uh, email, anything that you want to Show us okay, yeah, and the, is that the comments or the chat section? Yes. I see that. Okay. okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Let's go with Maria. Maria, welcome. Buenos no, días. Maria will go last because she's going to oh, be Oh, Maria, here. she's going last. Yeah, yeah, right. you're right. Okay, so let's go with Sebastian. Oh, Sunya. Welcome. Uh, your, your, um, I muted. Yeah, tu micrófono. Okay. okay, I was moving my mouth like somebody was <laughs> Okay, buenos dias, good morning everybody. I am Sebastian Osuna with Tierra Antigua. Um, I'm a real estate agent and business is still going. Um, last meeting, sales meeting uh, of the office um, last March was um, actually better than last year. So this April is coming a little slowly than last but it's, uh, it's still moving. And right now I had uh, a week listing one property in Marana. If somebody's looking, or you know somebody's looking for a property in Marana, it's uh, three bedrooms. Uh, I will be, uh, give you more details in the next cafe. But this week it will be listing. Uh, please keep me in your mind if you're looking, or your friend, or you hear somebody is uh, looking for a property, selling or buying, I'm here to help. My phone number, 520-247-3160. Thank you, everybody. Be safe, and we're still, and we're making this. Thank you so much, Sebastian. Let's go with uh, Juan. Are you there? Juan from uh, 
The roofs are high. He, he's just he's just setting up. Let's go with somebody else. Oh, okay. Let's go with Christina, you can go. Yeah, well, Christian. Christian Hernandez. Hi everyone. Hola a todos. Good morning. Um, Christian Hernandez, loan officer at Caliber Home Loans. I am looking for um, anybody that is looking to purchase a home or refinancing a home. Um, maybe you know somebody in your family, maybe a friend, maybe you're a homeowner and you're looking to um, to refinance your home or maybe lower your monthly payment. There are multiple reasons why somebody would refinance. Um, or maybe uh, you're already on a home and you're looking to sell, maybe get into a new home and get the best deal. I am very competitive. I work for one of the biggest companies in the uh, mortgage industry in the country. And uh, as you know, I am bilingual. If there is anything that I can do to help, I am here for you. I hope to be of value for the Spanish Chamber of Commerce. Um, my thing is all about networking. So if I can connect you to somebody, maybe that can be helpful for you, um, please reach out. I sent my information in the message. So I am right here to help you. Muchas gracias. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. So let's go with Brenda. Brenda, welcome, we miss you. I Get your microphone. You will be, um, okay, we, okay, we're gonna hear you now. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Uh, yes, I've had some issues. Um, I actually broke my, my toe, but um, <laughs> uh, my, my name is Brenda Edmondson. I'm with Send Out Cards, a relationship development company. Um, and we have one of the world's, we, well, currently we have the world's best relationship marketing tool on the planet today. And uh, what I'm looking for right now, um, I have been sending out lots and lots of cards. If you haven't received a card from me, I don't know if you've received, received one of these, but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to, um, like this is just a, um, a puzzle that, is this in, that I put in the cards. But what, I, what, I, what I've been trying to do over the last few weeks is send out um, cheer, happiness. Um, so I send out puzzles about uh, different um, things that people can do. And I've also been offering, um, there's a lot of people that are out there that they're in their homes by themselves and they're going stir crazy. Uh, there's a lot of older people that are by themselves. They're either in a um, they're either in a nursing home or something like that. And what I've been doing is I've been sending cards and gifts to people just to brighten their day, because that's that's what's going to get us through this pandemic. Is is that we reach out to people and that we're actually showing people that we're still here, we still care, um, and just just do something to brighten their day. But I've uh, Send Out Cards has, like over the past month, we have really been booming. Um, and one of the things that we've been booming with is people are looking for a way to earn a little bit of extra money because there's just, there's so much uncertainty. People don't know whether they're going to have a job to go back to because a lot of, some of the companies are closing down and they're unable to make the shift so that when all of this is over with, they will they will be in business. And so what uh, I've been doing is I've been offering people a way to make extra income um, while this is going on. So if you know anyone who they are looking to make extra income, uh, please send them my way. Uh, Brenda Edmondson, send out cards. Thank you so much. I love your, your cards. Um, let's go with... Um, it, Mr. Marie, because you you have your mic. In, in. Hello, Hope hello. You guys can all hear me? Esther. How are you guys doing? Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm kind of in a noisy yeah. situation. I was wearing my other hat as uh, the last of my track coach responsibilities and putting away equipment. So I'm kind of in a noisy spot right now. Um, but yeah, we are, um, our clients, what you can help us with are those people that are still going on with life, still having anniversaries, still wanting to get married, still wanting to get engaged still wanting to give christening gifts or any other kind of stuff that way we are up and functional and can provide all your watch and jewelry needs uh, um, as far as that goes i also am very much uh, working on being my health coach 
Um, I had an incident. If I had not been working on mindfulness so much, I probably would have completely fallen apart sometime between 11 p.m. Wednesday night and Thursday morning at 1 a.m. Somebody came into my home, stole my laptop, my wallet, my phone, my Wings for Women checkbook nonprofit, and my Optimus uh, checkbook. And again, if I hadn't been working on mindfulness, I probably would have just crawled in a hole and and uh, forgotten about life for a long time. Instead, I'm making the most of it, setting up everything better. Um, I can't lose the time I'm losing waiting for banks to reopen accounts. But um, you know, I'm, I'm working through it. I have an appointment today and an appointment uh, tomorrow with the proper people all in place with the proper paperwork to get both of those done. And um, so yeah, I'm looking for people that need help, either with their physical health, their mental health, their finances, or any other aspect of their life that they're wanting to make better and deal with the times and stuff that we're going through. And I'm Esther Marie Holman, and as I said, driller extraordinaire, uh, coach um, both for track and field and for your life. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Tanya, you, uh, you got beautiful kids. She's so beautiful. <laughs> thank, thank you. This is my mini me. <laughs> oh, hi, sweetie. She's so beautiful. Say hi. Thank you. <laughs> so let's go with Juan from the roof or hat. Hi, sweetie. Hey, hey, what do you say? How's everybody doing today? Can you guys hear me? Yes. Uh -huh. All right, great, great. Hey, my name is Juan JD with Roofs Are Hot. I provide uh, new roofs and leak repairs um, for residential and commercial properties. I specialize uh, working on insurance claims for properties. Um, but what I'm looking for uh, today is um, homeowners that have a leak on their roof or they know they need roof maintenance. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. So um, it's always gonna be less expenses, less expensive if you do it now. If you wait for the monsoon rain to remind you to fix your leak or get your roof main maintenance, it's gonna cost more money, you know, cause you're gonna have water damage, whatever it is. and and this is a time to do it before the monsoon raid actually hits. So if uh, you or if you have any family members or friends that uh, know they need to have a leak repair or need to get some roof maintenance, uh, give me a call and I can help them out. And I actually have a system, um, virtual estimating. So I can actually uh, do a diagnostics without actually even getting up on the roof if I have a, a really good conversation with a homeowner. So uh, give me a call, uh, 314-7774. Juan JD with the Roofs Are Hot. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Thank you so oh, much. Oh, I want to give a shout out to Brenda. I got your, um, my, my, my little girl loved your little puzzle card. She thought it was really cool. So I want to give you a shout out, Brenda. So thanks. Yeah. Thank you, Brenda. Also, she sent me a card um, and she's doing really good with her Espanol. <laughs> Thank you, Brenda. So let's go with Karen. Karen. Good. How are you? Let's see. She's there? Karen? No? She's not there? So let's go with it set Rendon. I'll, I'll come on oh, later. Okay. I just have okay. a trouble unmuting. You want me oh, to wait yeah. for later? Yeah, we can hear you now. Okay. Sorry. Okay. I was just, uh, Unmuting. I apologize. I've been out of town for a couple of weeks, so I couldn't join in uh, due to a family emergency. So thank you. I'm glad to be back here. But uh, my name is Karen Booth. I'm an Optavia health coach, and I can testify to Esther's transformation, not only physically, but mentally, the processing. And that has to do with our transformational system. What we are is people think, oh, Karen, or we're the diet police. No way. We are not the diet police. We are people that help people transform their life one healthy habit at a time. And our program is amazing. We have um, stepped forward. Um, we actually have reduced our prices this month by almost $100 due to the COVID. And uh, because Optavia is set up for helping people get healthy. It helps them to transform. I'm sorry, I got something in my tooth. It helps them to transform their lives in more ways than one. Their habits of sleep, their habits of health, their habits of exercise, and their habits of eating. So if you know anything about what's happening with the COVID, 
the which we all do we fall asleep thinking COVID. we wake up COVID. covid and so what i'm suggesting is that if you can create your own health you can manage when you're in a situation like this so much better than if we have um, health issues so i would love to help and do a free health assessment we are also looking four coaches. Um, I've brought on, I believe, four new coaches in the last week because of what we offer. We offer food that comes to the door. We offer um, all the virtual support you need. And they, it is booming right now. So um, people who need income, Optavia is the place to set up to help people get healthy. And it's all over the United States and um, in different in some countries too so love to be in touch with somebody and uh be in um anyhow talk to you later bye thank, thank you and i hope everybody is uh, okay and your family and uh you look good so you okay now um yeah it was it was a difficult situation but i was gone for a couple of weeks and i'm back now okay so but it's um, all everything happens for a reason Yes, yes, I'm happy to see you. It's set and done. Good morning, buenos dias. Buenos dias. Excited to be here again another week. Um, this month has actually been gone by so fast, faster than March, that's for sure. Uh, we're staying busy, uh, still helping a lot of people with their refinancing, and obviously um, a lot of people still purchasing, just like um, Sebastian mentioned, we're still in business, we're still essential to the community. So I'm glad that we're still in business. Um, my main focus right now is to help people with the uh, down payment assistance programs because the interest rates for those programs are like so amazing right now. They're so low. I never seen them so low in years and I've been doing this for a long time. Um, they're, just so ridiculous low. So I want everyone to take care, you know, take advantage of those rates and buy a home using down payment assistance. So that's my main focus um, right now. But I'm also helping, you know, um, customers who already have a home and want to lower their payment or the interest rates. I'm also doing that, helping them. And um, I already put my information on the chat. Hopefully, um, if you have any questions or you want to know more about down payment assistance, you can reach out to me. Um, and I'm here to assist in any way I can. Um, I want to thank Brenda for the car. It was beautiful. It put a big smile on my face, especially because she put it in Spanish. And I love that about you, Brenda, that you're so unique. You're so um, friendly with everybody. And thank you for thinking of us. and sending that card, I'd really appreciate it. And um, yeah, so if you have any questions for me, I put my information in the chat and I thank everyone for being here today. Hopefully we'll see more people on the next cafe. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Um, and let's go for with Luis Barnett. Hola Luis, que tal? How Hola, are you? Muy bien, gracias, buenos dias. Buenos Good morning días. everyone. Uh, some of you I've met before. I'm Luis Barnett. I'm with GCU or Grand Canyon University. I'm one of the local reps down here in Tucson, Arizona, mainly promoting our business development opportunities, our opportunities to offer your staff to go back to school to advance our education. Um, part of what we do is offering um, partnerships with different organizations uh, to encourage their staff to go back to school or advance their advance themselves through our educational uh, opportunities. We offer everything from bachelor's, master's, and our, and our doctorate programs. Um, so education is a good opportunity, particularly when an economy is down or there's times of uncertainty. A lot of people use this time to maybe build up different skills or look at different different endeavors. So we offer online classes based out of our Phoenix campus, but you can do your entire program here in Tucson. Most of you have a strong internet access, it seems like. Um, but it's a really, uh, one class at a time, uh, so you don't have to worry about juggling multiple topics. That makes it really easy. You, um, 
we have a team here dedicated to support you guys as well should you need assistance going through our systems in our library um so really what what we just are hoping to do is connect again with a, as a member we just renewed our membership so again as a member of the chamber just being an educational partner to you guys and let you guys know that there's more um there's more choices here locally that you can work with and i'd love to discuss your educational goals and see how i can help you or any of your family members or colleagues thank you thank you and welcome Muchas gracias. thank you Muchas gracias. Um, jose antonio hernandez good to see you too and welcome to, to uh, cafe to some spanish chamber commerce thank you good morning can you hear me yes excellent well thank you for the invitation first of all Oh, I was invited by my friend, um, Mr. Hernandez, and um, uh, should I introduce my business? Yes. Uh, what is exactly that you guys do on this mm -hmm. meeting? This is my first time, I apologize. And oh, uh, I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> I was telling her, uh, Christian Hernandez, that I am a dinosaur on these things. Uh, I never used video calls or anything like that in my business. I'm a full insurance agent. Even though I do have several services, um, my new office is in Tucson. Hopefully, they kick off uh, starting July 1st. Um, I, I've always had intentions to join the Tucson Hispanic uh, Chamber of Commerce. That's how we met, Leticia, if you remember, uh, yes. several back years ago. And uh, so right now, um, the, because of the pandemic, uh, my offices in Tucson are closed. So we will uh, potentially reopen again. And the services we're going to be offering other than, than anything that, that has to do with insurance. And uh, we're talking about life, co commercial, uh, auto, uh, even uh, health insurance, which is something that uh, a lot of people are thinking about right now. Uh, we're going to have other services like credit uh, restoring services, uh, credit repair, if you call if you will. And uh, so we're gonna try to help uh, public notary services as well. We're gonna just try to help uh, in one hub type of offices, uh, the most services provided uh, to the public and, and our future customers in Tucson. Uh, I'm also a Medicare agent, so I service anybody uh, from day one to <laughs> the golden age of 65, if you will. Uh, my company name in, in Tucson is being renamed to Pogo Financial Services and Insurance. Um, thank you, thank you. And I know uh, uh, many years ago I met you uh, because we are, uh, you are a member of the Spanish Chamber of Commerce. So yeah, welcome right. again and good to see you. And in uh, and, uh, and your chat, um, you can write your um, information there. Uh, business, el nombre de tu negocio, uh, tu correo electrónico, todo lo que tú quieras en, en, el, uh, en el chat. So, para tener toda la información de todos. And uh, don't forget to write your name, the name of the company, and uh, phone number or any promotion that you want to write it in the chat, okay? Don't forget that before you, we leave in. Um, but uh, let's go, let's go. I see my friend Raul. Raúl, where is Raúl? I know I saw Raúl somewhere. Oh, he left. Yeah, he, he's ready to go. Go ahead, Raúl. Hey, how's it going? Hey, there he is. Hi. Doing fine. Just to see, uh, you. to see you guys. Sorry, I've been uh, not joining you guys. I've been so busy. It's, uh, it's hectic, but uh, that's a good thing. And uh, well, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Raul Garson with Energiles LLC. We're a marketing agency and we help businesses advertise and promote themselves in a wide variety of ways. Uh, we do it online, we do the TV, radio station, you know, whatever you prefer as far as, you know, you know what type of demographic you like to reach. Um, does anybody have any questions for me? Uh, Raul, if I may, this is Jose Antonio. How are you? I am doing well. Yourself? Uh, excellent. I remember meeting you sometime back in, in one of those uh, meetings from the kitchen and uh, uh, this, the association, I believe, uh, the kitchen association, if you recall. OK. And, uh, you mean like kitchen designers? Yes, something like that. Okay. I do remember you. Something like that. 
Yes, and uh, I, I do understand that you also do um, web design? Yeah. Okay, excellent. Well, uh, I'm gonna open my office hopefully July 1st, so uh, get in contact with me again. For sure, man, and uh, our office is open. As you can see, I'm in, in my office. If any of you guys would like to uh, come over here and just meet with me, uh, we're considered an essential business because of the media services that we do, as well as some software capabilities that we've been servicing for a while. So uh, even if uh, you don't wanna be my client or whatever, you just have questions, doubts, you just wanna talk to somebody, I can be your therapist, whatever, you can sit on my couch. And uh, just chill there. It's better than me being here, uh, <laughs> just working. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay. Right. So, Paul, uh, we can go with Maria now. Or uh, actually, we're just gonna have Isabel. She's gonna do just some quick announcements, and then we're okay. gonna hand it over to Maria. Okay. Let's do that. Thank you guys, everybody, for your information. Thank you, Thank you for filling out the chat. And uh, it's nice to see like uh, probably a, a partnership where a connection right here is happening right now. So appreciate that. Thank you guys for your time. Hey, everybody. Um, and just really quick again, thank you so much for taking time from your morning to join us and share. And uh, just a couple of quick things. Uh, thank you for the new people that joined us. Remember that this is open to everybody. So um, we always love it when we get to meet new people. Um, and share information. And there's a lot of good going on out there in the community, um, as well as everybody, you know, looking for, as some of you said it, referred to it as how you're pivoting during this time. And that's the other key part about coming together is you get to listen to what others are doing and how they're looking to shift, you know, and I'm going to leave you with some thoughts around that is that there's a lot of dialogue around you know, um, opening back up for business. There's there's discussions going on about what that will look like. Um, and, but one of the things that I, I want to plant a seed in everybody's mind is that, you know, I, we can't look for it to go back to the way it was. We're going to look for a new normal. And so my challenge to everybody is to be reflecting on what does that mean for you and your business? You know, what are some things that you're going to need to look at to start to establish a new normal? Some of us are, you know, I, I was talking to my sister. She's very much about, look at I keep touching my face. Um, <laughs> I was talking about my sister and, uh, you know, she, she really misses that, that interpersonal engagement. So, you know, we are all adjusting to different challenges, uh, but also looking for what does that mean go forward? You know, I was hearing uh, news information this morning about, you know, the things that we will probably take for granted, you know, shaking hands, you know, especially in our culture, in the Hispanic culture, we're very much about, you know, gregarious, we got to touch each other, it's just like, you know, we got to feed each other, like there's certain things that we just need to do. Uh, but how do we look at it go forward? And what does that mean for our businesses? How do we still form connections? You know, if you have a building, what does that look like? You know, I heard Raul was talking about, you know, where he's going to have somebody sit. I mean, there's different things that we're going to have to reflect on. Uh, and again, you know, uh, the more we take advantage of this time to not only, as many of you have done, is pivot how you're doing your business, but also tapping into what are the things that are really kind of surfacing to the top? You know, what are... What are needs that you're seeing that are surfacing to the top for, for, for the community and opportunities that, you know, that fit within your business model? How do you, how do you serve there? You know, what are, what are things, strengths that are surfacing to the top that, you know, I mean, I was moved by Esther and Karen in both of their stories and what they shared, you know, things that are surfacing to the top, how are you leveraging them? Uh, and, you know, even the opportunities like Jose Antonio mentioned, you know, he's starting, you know, a new office and so forth. What is that going to look like for us in this new normal? So just food for thought, things to think about, you know, and again, I thank you guys for coming uh, to these cafecitos because that's what they help us do. They kind of help us brainstorm. There are, you know, 17 minds on this, on this Zoom right now, and you're sharing ideas. That is power. So thanks for joining us. Uh, things to think about. Uh, and keep going because, you know, whether you know it or not, we are making a difference in our community. Lots of good things going on in the way you share. Keep going. Uh, I'm going to turn it over to Maria. 
Okay. okay. Before before we go with Maria, I forgot to tell everybody what am I doing oh. too with well, the radio station. <laughs> <laughs> and also, um, Isabel, I, I remember that we planning to do also because I'm ambassador and uh, we planning to do those ribbon cuttings. But we're gonna let you know how we're gonna do these grand openings, uh, everything that we've been doing before. But we're gonna plan to do it that way. It has to do this time. Virtual. So um, for Jose Antonio Hernandez, that uh, you're gonna open in soon. I mean, maybe in July. You say your office. Yes. Maybe we we have something to do your ribbon cutting, grand opening, and everything like that. Okay. So. Great. For me, uh, I'm, I'm representing, uh, uh, because some of you uh, don't know where I am now, I left Azteca Tucson. I'm in a media, and uh, Bustos Media, I'm representing uh, the group 106.3, the radio station, and also the voice. The voice right now is the ratings going up because it's a CBS News talk radio, uh, and, and it's been doing really, really good. And uh, also, my, Nuestra Hora Coletti is in a CW. So anything you need for, for your business, to promote your business, please let me know. We have a great packages for uh, commercials. And I'm working right now with uh, Raul to uh, get some of uh, his um, uh, clients to advertising in our radio stations and also in Nuestra Hora Coletti. Thank you so much. And let's go with Maria. <laughs> Maria? Can, can everybody hear me? Yes. Yes, but we lost your picture. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh, yeah. oh okay. There you go. <laughs> so good morning. Uh, thank you for the invitation, Isabel. My name is Maria Vianney Cárdenas. I represent the U.S. Department of Commerce uh, with the 2020 Census. I'm a partnership specialist for uh, three counties for Southern Arizona, which is Pinal, Pima, and Santa Cruz County. Um, we are um, creating partnerships with organizations, businesses, local officials um, to help us out to um, educate the community why the census is important. So as you know, the decennial census is every 10 years. So uh, we are around um, the clock right now. Uh, the census is started on March 12th. Uh, for the first time in the history of the United States, you can do it online. You can also do it by phone and you can do it on paper. Um, the self response here in the city of Tucson right now, it's about 51%. Um, and what we're asking um, in, in the community is to help us out to reach out to those um, uh, families. Um, you guys have a great asset. You guys have great clients. You guys have great tools to be able to reach out to that community. Uh, I mean, the census data information uh, is about $675 billion. The, the, um, the federal government um, distributed every single year for the next 10 years with um, you know, special education, um, uh, businesses, uh, highways, emergency services, hospitals, uh, providing grants for you know, the, the different organizations and different programs, um, the after school programs. Uh, just to let you know, in 2010, over 1 million kids ages between zero and five were not count in the census 2010. So we wanna make sure that we make a difference in this time and we count every single kid in our household. Um, the census will never ask you for your citizenship. Uh, we don't want to know um, what um, immigration status do you have in the United States. Uh, we're also never going to ask you for your credit information or any monetary donations. Uh, the census also will never ask you for your social security number. So there's things that we need to educate our community. So um, the purpose of this is that um, we ask you for you guys to help us out. Um, the federal government is really looking 
forward to have a complete count in the city of Tucson and Pima County and the, the whole state of Arizona. Um, we're doing good, I can say. Uh, just the south part of Tucson historically is always under uh, the hard to count population and it's because, you know, language barriers, um, you know, low literacy, low income, seniors, uh, kids. Uh, so there's different factors. So we wanna, we wanna make sure that 2020 is gonna be a difference. Uh, we already know that we're being part of this historical uh, 2020 census because never happened like this. So, um, so that's what we're doing. We're, we're asking um, you uh, to help us out. I mean, it's just maybe a social media post, um, a newsletter information with the link about the census. I mean, the, the, it only takes nine questions, five to seven minutes. Um, it doesn't take you the much. Um, so we just want to mm, help you help or ask you to help us to breathe a bridge. I mean, as a federal government, it's impossible for us to be able to reach out to those people. So you guys as a community members uh, and business owners have great tools to utilize. Um, so that's one of the things that we want to uh, tell you today. And also the, uh, the census data information that is gonna be collected in 2020 will help the Small Business Administration, also the Rural Business Development Grants and some of the employment, unemployment insurances to um, make sure that they understand how they gonna serve or you're gonna serve your customer better. You know, is it more Hispanics, is it more only English, or is it more uh, non-English? Is it more uh, white, black? I mean, all of the census information that we collect is gonna help you. And what we wanna make sure that we shape our future and as a community, we need to um, be able to respond and increase those numbers. It's about $3,000 per person for the next 10 years. So if we miss, uh, household of five people, it's $30,000 per person times five people is $150,000. So as a business owner, as a schools, as a different programs and resources, that's a lot of money just in one household. So we want to make sure that people understand. We do have the outreach materials. Um, the questionnaire on paper is in English and Spanish. Uh, online is in 13 different languages. E, um, if you do the phone call, we have up to 58 different languages with a live representative uh, helping you out. So we pretty much have um, put it in the way that everybody has the opportunity to do it. Um, it goes 2020census.gov. First page right there, it will ask you to respond the questionnaire. And like I said, we want these numbers to, to go up here in Tucson and in Southern Arizona. So we can also have a voice in the legislation. Um, it's about redistricting. Uh, so it, it's a lot of things involved um, that the census information um, will make a difference. Uh, so, uh, you know, we have the information here, we have videos, we do have a lot of uh, uh, partners that they're already helping us to promote, uh, to share on social media. We do Facebook Lives, Cafecitos, uh, Sunnyside School District is putting together a teletone. Uh, we're gonna have a town hall with the superintendent and TUSD, I mean, you name it. Um, so like we said in Spanish, hasta en la sopa nos van a mirar. <laughs> so, um, so what I wanted to know um, today, if it, anybody of you guys, like I said, would like to help us out to do this outreach, uh, let me know. Isabel has my information. I believe Paul has my information. Um, you can email me. I can give you the, the resources. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. 
We do have all the materials in English and in Spanish. So let us know if you can help us. Uh, it's about making a difference in the community. Um, specifically here in Tucson, you know, we, we, we want to make sure that um, those counts, they stay here because we need the resources here. We all have a kid, we all have a grandkid or a, a relative that it's gonna be able to utilize these resources, the after school programs, the nutritional programs. We don't wanna see no more red for ed because we wanna make sure that Arizona has the resources available for those teachers. So we, so our kids, they start shaping their future because at the end of the day, you know, they're our future. So we want to make sure that we lay out, you know, uh, the foundation for them. So in 10 years, um, every single year from now, they will have uh, those resources available. So I don't know if you guys have any questions. Um, I'm bilingual. Uh, yo hablo español también. Y um, los invito, uh, no cuesta mucho. Is you know to your email maybe you put in a signature your 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 um, census information so people who have the ability just to click on it I mean like I said there's a lot of ways for us to help out and it's not about me or about you and it's about uh, the community as a whole that we want to make sure that we have the resources and those resources they're staying here uh, fighter fighters hospitals. All of that uh, um, data that we collect, um, that the federal government give money to all these entities will be because the information that we collect from the 2020 census. I have a question for you, Maria. So uh -huh. what is the percentage of, of execution as of right now? Like where, where do we stand? Yeah, right now the city of Tucson has a 52.3%. And I'm and it's a good number. I'm not saying it's bad in number, but if you see um, the map, uh, hopefully you guys can see it, but maybe not. No, maybe no, not. No, we're not seeing it. But yeah, we're not gonna see it. But I, 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 um, I have all the information available, but um, one of the things that I wanted to point is people tell me, well, we're doing very good. Uh, we're, did you lose me? No, we're still here. Oh, okay. Got you. Okay. I'm sharing. I'm You're sharing, sharing what the, I sent you. <laughs> what you sent. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. So, um, so the 52.3 percent uh, in the city of Tucson is because most of the east side. Uh, I'm thinking. I'm talking about uh, Auburn East. They're like in their. 70%, 60% of that population already um, answer uh, uh, and did their own cell response. If you see downtown area in Tucson, it's a little, bit, a little bit darker. The darker the color is, the lower the cell response is. So we're a little bit dark there. We do understand it's because most of the businesses or uh, headquarters and um, local government is downtown. So of course those numbers are gonna be low. But the thing that I concerns me the most is 22nd South, Car Carnal all the way to Avernon, all the way to Los Reales, which is, you know, South Tucson. Um, it's very low, uh, and we're talking about 13%, 18%. The most is 30%. The city of South Tucson, which is the 1.2 mile um, around in the middle of the city of Tucson, right now they're under 20, 26.8%. Um, in 2010, the city of South Tucson was the, the highest non-response rate. So 57% of the population did not answer the census. So they lose, they lost a lot of money. They, you know, they don't have the resources they need. Uh, so we want to make sure that we, you know, have a difference. Uh, I'm really working, like I said, with local government, with the mayor, the city council. Businesses, you know, it's a great tool in the city of South Tucson, uh, and the same thing in the city of 
of, of Tucson in the south. Um, even Midvale Park, I don't know if any of you guys have relations with Midvale Park, but Midvale Park is not really doing well, which is kind of surprised me. Um, but, you know, people are busy with COVID-19 and people are busy, you know, trying to figure out how they're going to do this. And uh, some people, they don't, sometimes they don't understand the impact that it's going to make in the community. So um, we want to make sure that um, we collaborate together. And uh -huh. like I said, you know, anything will help. Anything at this point. Um, mm -hmm. Like I said, a po social media post, email, uh, you know, your website. If you want to add a little bit of the census, um, we would really appreciate. We have a question I, from one of our members, uh, Esther yeah. Marie. Uh -huh. Yes, um, I had a question. I, my Optimist Club, our main focus is South Tucson. And I do have inlets to both Ochoa Elementary, which is the borderline between South Tucson and, and Tucson, and Mission, View. and Mission View that's in South Tucson, and direct contact with teachers there that are in direct contact with with the students. Um, would that yeah. be helpful to you to get into that at all? And also, are you working directly with the government of South Tucson? Um, the past mayor is a very good friend of me and several of the other past um, uh, city council members from South Tucson. Yes, uh, the local government in the city of South Tucson, uh, the mayor, Bob Teso, uh, mm -hmm. We have a collaboration together. I've been helping them with posters, flyers, you know, putting together specifically for uh, South Tucson. I used to work at Mission View. I was one of the teachers there for second and third grade bilingual class. So I believe I, I kind of relate what the Optimist Club is with Mr. Carbonell. Yes! <laughs> um, hopefully he's still there. He does. Uh, so it, in Ochoa too, uh, TUSD is engaged. We're not really seeing a lot uh, from TUSD in the sense of media, uh, announcements, uh, things like that. So um, if you have the opportunity to, you know, know any of them, kind of reminding, hey, you should be talking right. about the other, one is, <laughs> the other one is I'm very good friends with Pete that is the manager of the Food City and um, I don't know that the management as well at the El Super across the street, but those two grocery stores for that um, area um, and, and also the, the caucus that took over the, the old fry shopping center on Ajo is again, yeah. uh, probably the Actually, three major um, for that population shop. Yeah, Cardenas Market uh, did an engagement with me and to put flyers into the grocery bags when people check out. I've been trying to do that, and the mayor is trying to do that with Food City in South Tucson. We haven't been able to do that. Um, we do have a few businesses like Pico de Gallo and, you know, places where people love to go, but not with Food City. So if there's a way that you guys can connect us there, that will be I, I would great. Say we can contact Pete, who's, the, who's the, the actual manager of that store and work with him and Manny um, directly would be your best bet. Cool. Thank you so much. Yes. Um, like I said, um, I'm going to put my information so Bell can send it to you guys. Uh, I'm better by emails. Uh, I cover three counties and, you know, school districts and local government and nonprofit businesses. So all the connection that I have, like, since I wake up in the morning, like I'm busy all the way till 4 or 5 p.m., Isabel can tell you. <laughs> so, um, but, you know, email, just let me know. And like I said, I'm good. I'm replying back, sending, sending you the outreach materials. And, you know, let me know how can you help us. Thank you, Maria. Um, that was really mm -hmm. helpful. And um, I think one of the things that I, I, my big takeaway is that we can all share, continue to share the information uh, through all our networks uh, and help. And, you know, the slideshow yeah. that we showed you is, is I think the, the thing that's important to note in, and the timing of this is that, you know, she keeps saying 10 years. That's 10 years of funding that we are impacting if we're not correctly counted. 
And I know there's yeah. fears, especially for our community, you know, especially our underserved community, there are fears, but we really have to push past that and leverage our networks to get the information out in both English and in Spanish and through all our, our families and friends and just really push it out and, and share the importance of it. Because especially with what we're going through today, right now as a community, that funding is important. That could make the difference yeah. between how we come out of this, this pandemic, how we come out of the struggle that we're in right now, it could make a huge difference. So it's-, it's Yeah, it's, and, and just remember, uh, the decennial census is every 10 years. The, in, the data information that we collect is not gonna change in three years. It's not gonna change in four years. It's gonna be locked for the next 10 years. So if we undercount those kids or those families, it's not like in four years, oh, we're doing another census and then we're gonna count them again and, and you know, now they're gonna participate and we're gonna you know, receive the resources from them. It's no, no, no. You know, we lock it in in 10 years, and every single year, the state will receive the funding depending of the data information that we collect from the population. Yep. So it's in everybody's best interest. And like Correct. I said, again, the timing of this couldn't be more crucial. Um, it could make a Correct. huge difference in our community. So let's do our part. Let's share it with our networks. Thank you, Maria, for coming to talk Thank to you. us. Thank you. Um, we'll continue to share the information and share it on our social media pages. So help us out, get the word out, tell your friends, and if they haven't done it, encourage them. Oh, I have another raised hand. Yes, Karen. Um, yes, I just wanted to say real quickly, I'd like to post on the Hispanic Chamber Facebook page. We had an amazing training, and it's open to the public. It was called, um, it's with our, our medical director and Jim Detner, and he's written the the um book called the 15 15 uh conscious measures of conscious leadership i'd like to post that on the page it is about 45 minutes to an hour long but if anybody has an opportunity to watch that because it is about is the world happening to you or for you and it's very powerful with our mindset so i'm going to post that and if you guys approve it um i encourage everyone on here to post it and share it. It had over 200,000 views. Absolutely, I, I enjoyed it. I saw it, it was good. Wasn't it good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah. so Absolutely. I'll, repost that. I'll repost that because I think it's very important to help us with our current mindset. Absolutely. Okay. Very good. On that note, thank you all for continuing to engage and for coming to Cafecito. We appreciate you. Um, be sure and, and invite a friend next time. Remember, there's more power and, and more brains coming together. So have a great week. Stay healthy. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Bye, everyone. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Hasta luego.